a good morning from you. Oh, hello. Hello. Lovely morning. Bro, what are you doing? Oh, did you guys see that? He threw a ball at me. Ready? Go. Are you guys ready? He's gonna try to find the ball under the covers. It's like the cutest thing. He like goes like head first when he jumps into it. So watch. <laughs> oh, he got it. He went under the covers. <laughs> there you go, boo. Oh my gosh, guys. Today, my back hurts. And I think it's from, like, sitting in that, like, little couch chair at Starbucks all day yesterday. Oh, my back hurts. I need a massage. How does one get a massage around here? I wish I could teach my dog how to massage. How awesome would that be? A massaging dog. A dog that knows how to massage. Be awesome. I'm gonna make some coffee now guys um so i'm gonna make coffee and i realized i haven't been to the grocery store in forever i have no greens for me for that i have no greens to make green juices let's make some coffee coffee time and grocery list making time i'm also gonna get a powerball because no one won the powerball from last time and i realized i haven't bought like lotto tickets in a week so i've been missing out guys nobody won powerball and the next drawing is i think on wednesday tomorrow's mega millions so next drawing is on wednesday and i have to get it. it's like 350 million or something and so i gotta get a powerball ticket i also gotta make my grocery list right now so i'm gonna look at my recipes that i want to make and stuff and get started on making my grocery list let's open the blinds for the love of my life He's gonna run over to the window. To the window! To the wall! Ooh, and there he is. Here's your little pillow you could sit on. There you go. Look at you. It's mail time! Oh, there is a little package in here. Cool beans. Ooh. Got my subscription from Glam Planner, so that will be an unboxing video on my main channel. What else did I get? I oh got my bathing sets from Urban Outfitters, so it did come in. What else did I get? Oh, got mail from the new tenant at my old apartment. She said a check came in for me from Time Warner, so let's open up this mail, guys. Everything except for the Glam Planner um, package because that one has to be on my main channel. Got a check for $23.50. Attached check represents a customer refund for account number blah 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 in the amount of $23.50. Well what did you do? Did you charge my card and now you're refunding me? Like hello where's my explanation? I am so confused. My one piece bathing suit came in from Urban Outfitters. So I'm, is this my one piece bathing suit or is this like just a um this might just be like a little bodysuit but my two-piece bathing suit was supposed to come in like that's what showed that shipped and i'm very confused now you know what guys i am so confused because i did not even order this from urban outfitters i'm gonna show you guys this is what i got i don't know if this is a bathing suit or what but this is what i got this is what I ordered. So I ordered this little mesh block bodysuit, this split little bathing suit, this bikini bottom right here, and that bikini top. That's it. That's all I ordered. So what this is, I have no idea. What are you? Why did I even get you? I oh my gosh, this is confusing. I'm so confuzzled right now. But what size are you? Are you even gonna fit me? You are a medium. Are you a bathing suit though? I don't know. Well, it is a size medium, so I don't know. Let's try it anyway. I ordered everything else in a size small, but let's let's try this thing. I don't really know what this is supposed to be, but I feel like my nipples are showing through and I don't know what's going on here. It looks cute, but I think this medium is too small. What what is going on? I, I don't know. Even though that was the wrong bathing suit, guys, it was a medium, one size bigger than what I did order because I ordered smalls and that felt really tight. So now I'm kind of afraid that nothing else I ordered from Urban Outfitters is gonna fit, which sucks, but I gotta call them and be like, dude, you still gotta send my other stuff because this is the wrong item.
calling Urban Afters right now, and what am I listening to? It's like in French. I have no idea what they're saying. Okay, is Urban Outfitters order, wrong order, is packed up and ready to go back. My check over here, I called them and it's actually a refund for the um, rest of the portion of Time Warner that I didn't use because I paid already for February and then I canceled it February 20th but it was still good till like March 11th. So they refunded me um, what I didn't use. So that's very nice of them. Just finished filming the unboxing video guys, so these are the goodies, but if you guys want to see them in more detail, go head over to my main channel to see it. I'm about to scrub a dub a dub on my lips with some white sugar. I'm grabbing some sugar here. Some sugar and I guess some coconut oil. That's what I'm going to do. I know you could also use lemon or Vaseline, but I mean, I'm just, just using coconut oil because I like coconut oil and I feel like uh, my lips have been getting kind of dry actually lately and I really don't like it. So we are going to exfoliate my lips today. Hair needs some dry shampoo. We're not gonna put makeup on because my brushes are still a little damp feeling. So no makeup today, but then we just gotta go to the grocery store anyway. So who cares? I don't need makeup for that. We're just gonna scrub this on my lips now. All right guys, scrub a dub a dub. Oh yeah, I hair for good. I bet you this tastes good too because I love coconut oil. And it's just sugar, coconut oil and sugar. Mmm. Yes. Get around, get on the inside. My lips feel nice and soft. I think we need some more scrubbing on the inside though. Come ah. on, sky, sky, sky. I can't talk to that open. Oh my gosh, it's very hard. Pretty good. My taste buds are enjoying the coconut oil and sugar as well. Yes. Guys, look at my hands. It feels, it looks so oily. Mm. Yeah, so I do keep some little coconut oil. Woo! Oh my God, you guys almost died again. I do keep some coconut oil in this little jar and I just keep it in the bathroom because I do put it on my face, I'll put it in my hair. Um, and I just, it's good. And then I guess it's on my lips too. Oh my gosh, I washed my hands and I forgot to wash my lips. You guys see those? Still oily and sugary. Definitely feel much better. They don't feel like so dry. They don't have like little flaky skin on them. Look, look at my lips. Mm, yeah. Now I'm just gonna put on um, this beauty balm thing. It's for hands, feet, skin, and lips. Just has a whole bunch of oils to bring back some moisture to my lips. I will link it down below. I look like I'm wearing lip gloss. Mwah. I was watching a hair hacks video last night guys so I have dry shampoo in my hair right now and one of the hair hacks is to put in dry shampoo and then to get rid of that like white powdery stuff even though I normally blend it in anyway like I just do it with my fingers and like shake it in and blend it in but one of the tips was a hair dryer so after a few minutes you literally just blow dry that piece of your hair and all of like that white powdery stuff comes off so this hair hacks video that I saw it worked in that video, so I hope it works for me too. Whenever I do start growing white hair, I think it would look pretty good on me. Like, look at that. Looks pretty good, right? What do you think? Let's try this. So I still have all this white. Let's see how great this disappears when I put this on. Woo! Is it disappearing? Great hair. Um, the hair dryer, the blow dryer, I guess it helps a little bit, but I mean, I still had to use my fingers anyway, so I might as well just not even struggle with taking out the hair dryer and plugging it in and then have to put it away. So I think my way is just easier. I don't really like this hair hack. It did not work. Did not work as well as it did in that girl's video. Girl, see the wizard, the wizard, the wizard of Oz, the wizard, the wizard of the grocery store. Ah, I can't talk today. I looked on Iboda. They had some like proto savings and stuff. So I added that. I printed out some coupons as well. So they have like the Chobani yogurt guys. I accidentally printed it on glossy paper. So whatever. They're going to have to deal with glossy paper over here. While I was walking my dog guys, I noticed two things or I, this is something I never knew and I've been living here for forever. But number one, 
there's street cleaning on Long Island. Like you see it all the time in New York City and this is like the first time ever I saw it today. And number two, my dog really does not like the street cleaner truck and he just kept barking at it and trying to attack it. On a side note guys, Mother's Day is coming up this Sunday. So I wanna know what do you guys do for Mother's Day or what would you like to do for Mother's Day from your kids if your kids were older like I am? Because me and my siblings are like, we're like, we don't know what to do. Even if my mom says she doesn't want us to do anything, then she'll complain that we didn't do anything. So we have to do something regardless, but like we don't know what to do. Please comment them down below. I need to know what to do for Mother's Day. Apparently there's so many people here guys that there was no carts and I had to find one like by the cars and stuff, but I'm not seeing how there's that many people here. Like, this looks pretty empty to me. I mean, it's not like empty empty, but it's not packed either. Once again, guys, they don't have basil. I have all this stuff in here, but no basil. They're out of basil, so I'm gonna have to go to the next store, the grocery store over, like across the street, and hopefully they'll have basil. I'm in the second grocery store now, guys, and this is the only basil they have, the last two and not even fresh. Well, last two packs of basil. Like, why don't my grocery stores like carrying basil? I have no idea. Cooking up the pumpkin parmesan spinach quinoa. So I have my quinoa ready here. Here's the sauce. I still have to add in the parmesan cheese and I still have to add in the spinach and then it's almost all done. Now I have to prepare, uh, prepep, prepep. I was gonna say prep, but then prepare. So it was like prepep. Yeah, we're gonna prep our green juices. While we're preparing our green juices, I'm gonna try some iced blushberry black K-cup tea. Mm-hmm, let's try this! That is slamming. Oh my god. It's a little concentrated. I think it definitely needs a little bit more ice. But that is slamming, guys! Uh, I will link that down below, guys, for you guys. I just say guys way too much. <laughs> Pumpkin Parmesan spinach quinoa is finished. Man, that name is like a handful, so let's just go with like pumpkin quinoa. How about that? Let's just go with that. But it's done. This is just so good. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to end this vlog for today. You guys are actually getting kind of long already, so i got to finish you guys. And I'm actually just laying in bed. It's 9.30. Finishing editing, you guys. And my tummy hurts, so I'm going to go to bed pretty much right after this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. A big thumbs up. You know the drill. Bye!